Hi, today we're at Hakone. We just got here. I couldn't vlog before because, I don't know, the weather is really crappy and the the train was really quiet and really long and it just felt awkward like just talking by myself on the train. So we just got off the train. It's, it's still raining but um, right off the station there's actually um, this store that sells ice cream. It's called Ajisai Ice Cream and it's basically the flower and here it is. It's purple. It tastes like Fruit Loops. <laughs> Oh, and this is Gora Station, by the way. Um, we actually got off here um, because our hotel is like about a 10 minute walk from here. The station is really small and there's not really the, the machine where you scan your Suica card, like in Tokyo or Saitama or whatever. They don't have that machine. Instead, like they have this small scanner and someone actually working here to look at your passes and stuff. Good morning guys! Um, it's like 8 o'clock now. Yeah. And they said it was gonna rain, but look at the sunny, bright sky. It's not... Okay, there are clouds in the sky, but um, it's really sunny today and I hope it stays that way. Um, it might turn cloudy though, because I see clouds gathering up, but hopefully no rain. I really... I'm excited to see Mount Fuji today, like maybe as we're riding the cable car and we're gonna uh, ride the boat cruise today so if it's good weather it'll be a plus. And now we're going to get breakfast. The place we stayed at comes with breakfast. So um, it's buffet style apparently and it's all you can eat. Pan. So let's see. There's a lot of people here. Oh, look. So this is my breakfast, guys. I got one of everything because I'm fat. And <laughs> it comes with coffee. And they also have apple juice, which... <laughs> anyway, it's just a lot of pastries and, and bread. This is actually one bread. And then everything else is like, what, croissant? I don't know, I think this is, um... It might be pineapple pastry. Raisin roll. Some other stuff. Yep. If you're a bread and pastry <laughs> lover, the bread is actually pretty good here, but if it's good or bad, um, I guess if you're an expert, it probably wouldn't be good to you, but it's, it's fine with me. <laughs> I can proudly say that I ate all the bread at this place. After I came to Japan, I became a glutton, and I've been eating so much, and if I admit all my crimes, <laughs> I think I will be sentenced to lifelong prison. So I won't admit them to you. At least not now. I have to admit it to you when I escape from Japan. <laughs> when I return to the States, I'll be admitting all my guilt and begging for forgiveness. And I will work hard to return to my normal self and return to my real body. And <laughs> this is what happens when you come to Japan, especially for like an extended amount of time but not really that long and you're rushing to like do everything at once this is what happens the view from the window of my hotel by the way if you guys like are planning to come to Hakone and want to stay at a really cheap place with bread um, come here I wouldn't say it's that, that far apart from from everything else. I mean, it's within walking distance, everything, but like, just at night, it gets really dark. Um, and also, there's no sidewalks in Japan, so you have to watch out for cars and stuff. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for like a cheap place to just sleep at, and it's clean, actually, um, just come here. It's called B&B &B Pension. We're about to head, well, are we about to head out yet? We're getting ready to head out, and I have a beer in my hands. <laughs> beer for breakfast, that's the life in Japan. Do you guys see the spider webs? It's like on, on the plants and I never seen like a horizontal like a flat spider web before. They're usually like always like vertical like you know with trees and stuff. It's so thick. 
Can you guys see the mountains in the background? This is Hakone. Hakone is just one big mountainous area with like onsen in between each cliff and crevice of the mountain. And yeah, you, you get to see a lot of layers of mountains, if you know what I mean. Um, basically like when you look straight and there's like a bunch of mountains and you see like layers of them like one after the other. That's what I call layers of mountains and it's really pretty. Um, you can see more of that like towards the middle of the day to the night time. Now we're walking towards the bus stop to, you know, take the bus to the rest of Hakone. Um, today we don't, <laughs> we don't really have like a, a, a fixed plan. We have like a, 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 a basic idea of what we want to do. But um, yeah, basically we're going to take the cruise today because um, the weather is really nice. And I don't know about the weather for tomorrow. So anyway, we're basically just going to take the bus that connects to the train, that connects to the cable car, that connects to the ropeway. So we're going to try to do all of that today. And then after we're done seeing everything around there, we're going to come back down and then stop by one of the onsen, um, which is kind of like a spa um, on our way back. And then, you know, set up for the night. Everything closes really early in Ta Hakone, so uh, the nighttime isn't really good for going out. You can't see anything because it's dark and yeah, there's really nothing to do at night in Hakone. So we're just going to re retire to our rooms probably. Look! A waterfall on our way down to the bus station. It's covered by this thing because, you know, there's, there's actually a road with cars, so you don't want your car to be splashed. But yeah, it's just cool how they have like, just a straight waterfall like out of nowhere. Look at all these trees. They're so tall and straight. And these are all pine. Or I mean, are, these are pine, right? Or cedar? No, I don't think they're cedar trees, but... Okay, they're just tall trees. <laughs> I thought they were pine trees because of the, the way their leaves are. Look at this beautiful view! And do you hear that? That's the river below. And they have these flowers everywhere. And they're called Ajisai, which is the. Oh my god, I forgot the English name. What was it called again? This is the Hakone Open Air Museum. Chōkoku no mori bijutsukan. So, um, I, I forgot. <laughs> I actually don't know what exactly is in it, but um, one of my friend's friends recommended this place. They said it's really nice here. So I just know it's a museum. I don't know what kind of museum it is. Maybe art museum? Um, open air, I, I can't figure out what it is. And this is the Picasso Pavilion. A lot of sculptures. But it's in like an area of open space, so it's really pretty here. This is Hercules. Look at this sculpture. It's so... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's so abstract. Not really abstract, it's just... I don't know, it's like a giant head lying on a bed of water. It's really pretty. Look how pretty this is. It's actually like a steep hill. <laughs> the grass is really pretty. But there's like uh, sculptures all over the... the I don't know, it, it reminds me of a golf course. Because it's so hilly. But the sculptures here are really pretty and very abstract. It just leaves it up to your imagination, whatever you want to think it is. And the more you look at it, the I don't know. <laughs> it, it changes from different angles, and the longer you stare at it, you get like a different impression of it.
And this is a sculpture uh, created by someone named Takamichi Ito and it's called 16 Turning Sticks. It looks like one of those optical illusions where like if you try to guess like how many sticks there are. She. This is a symphonic sculpture. And it's really pretty. This is almost to the top. I climbed the stairs. It took forever to climb it. Despite what it looks like, it looks really short, but it's actually a pretty high climb. But here it is. And I'm out here. Wow. It's so high up. I'm actually kind of scared looking down. Can you see all the houses and the buildings inside the mountains? <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I like looking far off in the distance. Oh, and then the Ashiyu, which is the foot bath. One of the things I love about Japan, they have foot spas, just randomly at random places. But this one is natural spring water, and they put some citrus fruits inside, which it's 65 degrees. Uh, the Celsius, of course. Wow. It's a warm day, but you know, you fight heat with heat, so it's quite nice. And as you sit and relax your tired feet, you see. <laughs> you see this view. Am I weird? I wave to people who are like up there or like from up there down here and nobody ever waves back to me. I'm just trying to be friendly. I'm not really a weirdo. <laughs> Look, this is so cool. This is like a maze. You go in through here. And there's another exit over there. Just walk around inside. <laughs> now I'm going down into the maze. It's actually pretty. Wow, there's a spider. I really want to get in here. There's a spider. Do you guys see it? It's nasty. No! Maxi! <laughs> oh my god, which way did we go? <laughs> they are lost.
after walking around a few times, we found the exit. So we're out of the maze. I did it. <laughs>